other interesting business news, you have Red Lobster filing for bankruptcy, unfortunately. Now, there's a lot of speculation that was just, there's a high propensity that this is already happening because the company's been loaded up for debt for a little while, and recently they were closing their stores. There was a lot of rumors going around the last couple of weeks, but I was kind of hoping, like a lot of retail establishments do, GameStop products most famously, there are a lot of times you just need to close your underperforming stores. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to go out of business. Now, unfortunately, in this case, it does look like that is the case. Now, this comes to us thanks to Reva Gold, who is the editor over at LinkedIn. In which Reva says, quote, America's biggest seafood restaurant chain has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection after suffering a higher labor cost and pricey leases, unquote. Well, that's funny. Everyone who keeps clamoring to raise minimum wage to skyrocketing rates, they say, you know, there's never going to be any negative side effects. Food will never go up in price. The companies will never go out of business. Oh, wait, that's precisely what's happening in addition to more and more layoffs. It's almost as if the age-old saying the road to hell is paved with good intentions is staying for a reason. Although... I'm being more pessimistic. I think a lot of mostly politicians don't really have good intentions. They just want to make us more dependent on the government by destroying the economy. But I partially digress. Now, they also say, quote, Florida-based Red Lobster said it would use its proceedings to reduce the number of restaurants it operates and sell its business to an, ent an entity made and run by its term lenders. The news follows the recent abrupt closure of, more of dozens of its approximately 600 U.S. Red Lobster restaurants. Reports from the Wall Street Journal last week that it was nearing Chapter 11. Now, they note that the uh, Thai Union Group, uh, THAI, or sorry, Thai Union Group, which took over the company about four years ago, previously shared plans to as a, exit its stake. So, very unfortunate. I mean, a lot of people. I mean, a lot of people love Red Lobster. They have some great deals. I know people. It was a bottomless shrimp or something a couple years ago. People went wild for. And it's again one of the best well-known. I would say it's definitely not entry level. It's a. It's not prohibitively expensive. It is a more premium service and it stinks because obviously, obviously there's demand for that in the market perhaps it's dwindling people are just kind of pivoting towards the even more entry level or the higher premium when it comes to seafood consumption Here we told, i don't think i've been there how at least 24 36 months but let me know in the comments are you going to miss red lobster again they're just going for bankruptcy they're going to restructure you're going to have a new owner they already closed some some of their underperforming stores i suspect they'll close even more stores because again a lot of them might be located too close together. A lot of them might be just underperforming. They're going to have to make some changes in order to make it profitable. So hopefully the brand doesn't go away completely. I don't think it will. Hopefully not too many people are displaced from their jobs. And they're able to find gainful employment at one of the competitors of Red Lobster and some other type of fast food or I don't know if you want to call it more convenient food areas. But let me know. When was the last time you actually went to Red Lobster? Are you going to miss it? And if you're an invest investor, do you think, fiscally speaking, are they going to make a comeback and really you know, grow exponentially next 12, 24, 36 months? Or you think they'll continue to struggle? As always, be fascinated to hear what you have to say. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you could click that button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, leave a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment. It's a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, tell your enemies, anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.